Jack Sainsworth becomes the leader of the League of Legends after his father is deleted from the world. He demotes the old Woe Captain and promotes his brother Alexander to the position. Jack continues on to explain the War of Imperium to a reluctant Alexander. He hopes to defend the castle from attackers the next day with his brother at his side. The War of Imperium begins, but half of Jack's guild has deserted him because he demoted the previous captain. Jack is disappointed and afraid that they'll lose the castle, so Alexander comes up with a plan to use a bunch of dead branches out front of the castle. Doing this, they would spawn a bunch of monsters to stop their enemies. Unfortunately, Jack uses them too early and all the monsters just attack the two of them. Clemente Quantien and his crew walk up and taunt Jack. They then proceed to take the castle. Clemente Quantien now has the League of Legends castle, and Clemente reflects on his past. He explains to Gino, his right-hand man, that he's disappointed in how easy it was to take the castle. He continues on to tell the tale of his father being exiled from William Saintsworth's guild over a petty argument, and then deciding to create the Skelt Guild to get revenge, but never managing to succeed. Jack is determined to regain his castle from the Skelt Guild. He devises a plan to zerg the Skelt Guild with newbie novices. Alexander agrees and they send out word that the famous League of Legends Guild is recruiting newbies. They wait outside the castle. However, only two novices show up, the goofy Red Cat and the snarky Knizzle. Jack decides that they can't waste any more time so they attack the castle, only to be easily dispatched by a new mysterious female gunslinger. Her name, Triella Vermilion. Clemente has hired her temporarily as a mercenary. Jack determines that the reason they lost was because Clemente's guild had acquired a strong female character, so he decides to set out to find his own. After being rejected numerous times, he finally returns to Alex on the day of the War of Imperium. He tells him that they are waiting for a female stalker who Jack convinced to join. After a long wait, the hyperactive anime fanatic Sam Futanare shows up and is distraught that her recent boyfriend just left her. After some bickering, they attack the castle, but they are defeated once again, and Sam reveals that she's actually a man using a female body. Clemente and the rest of his crew decide that they're going to explore the castle more in order to better fortify it against future attacks. Triella chooses to do her own thing. Gino finds the Guardians, and Slade finds a giant ballista. While pondering what they can do to get their castle back, Alex proposes that they merge with another guild, so Jack sets out to find other guilds to recruit. Along the way, he encounters the insanely powerful Dolomite of the Dark Destroyers. Dolomite informs Jack that they're only interested in PKing everything that moves. After meeting various other poor candidates, Jack finally shows up during the War of Imperium with the Prontarians. Unfortunately, Skelt fires the Ballistas and makes short work of them. Alex devises a plan to split the guild and leave Red Cat to sneak into the Imperium Room. The plan almost works, but Jack ends up battling with a decoy Clemente, and everyone else is defeated in combat. Red Cat and Sam manage to make it to the Imperium Room, but Clemente appears at the last second to stop them. At this point, Jack is on the verge of giving up and leaves his guildmates behind to think things over. While he's thinking, he's PM'd by his father who is mysteriously talking to him through another person. His father tells Jack to focus on leveling up his party as they have the potential to be strong. Inspired by his father's words, Jack returns to start training his subordinates. While Red Cat and Knizzle are training in the fields, they're almost attacked by two assassins, but the valiant hero Arthur Lionheart appears and makes them run. However, the two assassins return with Dolomite and the Dark Destroyers. 
When Jack asks Arthur to thwart them, Arthur reveals that he's actually a pacifist and only hoped to scare them away. After they're defeated easily by the mighty Dolomite, Jack agrees to let Arthur join them as an Imperium Breaker. Jack continues to train in hopes of leveling up his guild members to make them more powerful. While he goes off to check up on the novices, he's visited by an elderly Marin who mistakes him for his father William. The Marin continues on to tell him the tale of Pak Pak the Pouring, in hopes of convincing Jack to stop him from killing people in the toy factory as an insanely powerful ghost ring. The tale describes how the pouring of Frontier Field are at odds with the humans who have colonized their land. And in an unfortunate encounter, Pak Pak's father is killed by a gunslinger. In a rage, Pak Pak manages to kill the gunslinger in one hit. And him and his mother flee to the abandoned toy factory, a place that is a safe haven for monsters like him. There, he meets his future wife, the Marin Lin Lin. Eventually, the gunslinger finds his way to the toy factory and is surprised to see Pak Pak again. He has gone insane from the embarrassment of being killed by a poring. Because of this, the gunslinger kills Pak Pak's son and most of his friends. Pak Pak ends up stone cursed, and the gunslinger leaves him to wallow in his despair. After being cured by a peaceful monk, Pak Pak goes with the monks in order to train to get stronger to protect his wife. One day, the gunslinger returns to the toy factory yet again and encounters Pak Pak. Pak Pak tries to get revenge, but he's still just a pouring and is killed in one shot. However, Pak Pak responds as a vicious ghost ring, fueled by rage and revenge. Pak Pak then kills the gunslinger and absorbs his soul, deleting him from the world. Pak Pak continues to do this for years, leveling up with each kill, and he becomes the strongest ghost ring to ever live. The Marin informs Jack that once a year on the anniversary of his son's death, Pak Pak is vastly weakened because he uses his powers to temporarily summon his son. She hoped that perhaps the legendary William Saintsworth would be willing to stop him at that time. Jack agrees to go on the quest in order to stop him and also in hopes of attaining the Ghost Ring card which would all but ensure his victory against the Skilt Guild. He tells the guild the tale and they set out on their way to the toy factory. Unbeknownst to Jack and his friends, however, both Gino the Clown from Skelt and a mysterious stalker were also listening to Jack's tale. Jack and company decide to take the airship to Luti, but along the ride it's revealed that Jack owes the captain a ton of money and cannot repay him. The captain proceeds to kick Jack and his friends off the ship. They land in Niflheim where they're greeted by a band of undead monsters who try to sap them of their life force. Arthur Lionheart finally shows his battle prowess when he attacks them because they are not living things. Therefore, they do not go against his pacifist code. Thanks to Arthur saving them, they rush off to the toy factory. When they arrive, the Skelt Guild shows up as well and reveals that they know everything about the Ghost Ring. The Ghost Ring shows up and summons his son. Jack reveals that Knizzle and Red Cat accidentally killed the Marin which told him the tale. Knowing that this is Lin Lin, Pak Pak is enraged. He sends his son away and teleports in order to split up the humans as he's too weakened to take them all on at once. Eventually, Jack and Clemente encounter the Ghost Ring and defeat it. The card drops, and Jack and Clemente battle each other for it. Thanks to Jack's training, he's actually an even match for Clemente. The two kill each other at the same time, but then... The mysterious stalker shows up and takes the card.
Jack and his crew realize that they're very close to being competent enough to defeat the Skelt Guild. They decide that the last thing they need to do is have the novices choose a class. However, Knizzle refuses to change classes, and Red Cat turns into a super novice behind their backs. Jack declares that one more thing they should do before attacking the castle in the next War of Imperium is acquire their father's legendary sword. The sword was bestowed upon their father as a reward for his impressive leadership. However, William became unexpectedly power hungry and began using the sword to conquer other guilds. He also went around soloing MVPs. Seeing the error in their ways, the GMs made Ifrit insanely strong and William was unable to defeat him, dropping the Saintsworth sword in Thor's dungeon, where it is never found again. Alex reluctantly agrees, and the crew heads to Thor's dungeon. When they reach Ifrit, he's already defeated by Dimlo's castaway, Jack's former woe captain, and his wife Jesse Okama. It is revealed that Jesse is also a man using a female body, and was actually Sam's former boyfriend. Realizing that the Saints were sword dropped from Ifrit, a battle ensues, and Jack manages to get the sword. Jack and his crew are finally prepared to take on Skelt. They engage them in a vicious battle for the castle. Fortunately for the League of Legends, Jack's hard work has paid off. They manage to defeat Skelt and take back the castle. Afterward, Word spreads of their victory. They're approached by the biochemist Selifra and the sniper Strifenheart. Jack enthusiastically recruits them, but elsewhere, Clemente is fired up because he finally has a challenge and will be able to have the battle he originally dreamed of. The War of Imperium begins and Jack shows up late he reveals that somehow he broke Strifenheart's powerful and rare bow. He took a trip to visit the blacksmith Maximilian Saintsworth, who's Jack and Alex's brother. He asked him to refine the bow, but it ended up breaking. Strifenheart shows up enraged by Jack. He leaves the guild. Shortly thereafter, Skelt appears to battle them for the castle. After an intense battle, it's revealed that Triella is the leader of a separate guild, the Player Slayers. She makes short work of Jack and Clemente, and takes the castle for herself. The League of Legends and Skelt Guilds return to the castle to confront Triella at the entrance. It's revealed that Dimlo's castaway, Jesse Okama, the mysterious stalker who took the Ghost Ring card, Dolomite the Destroyer, and Maximilian Saintsworth were all leading members of the Player Slayers Guild. In addition, Dolomite's Dark Destroyers fill out the rest of the ranks. Jack finds out that Maximilian broke Strife and Heart's bow on purpose in order to weaken them, and then join them for financial gain. Triella challenges Jack to a one-on-one -on -one battle on the conditions that if Jack wins, he can have the castle. But if he loses, he must hand over the Saintsworth sword. Jack agrees and they engage in a short battle that results in Jack's defeat. Triella takes the sword and leaves Jack to die. 